What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and today's video we'll be doing a top three best loot room designs that I can come up with that will help you maximize the amount of space that you have to store your loot. So one of the main things in this game is definitely loot storage. You will outgrow most uh, buildings and bases just because you have way too much loot. So some of these base designs are to optimize safety or to optimize space. So make sure to stick around to watch all through these base designs, or I say base designs, these loot room designs, so that you don't miss out on any tips or any uh, kind of knowledge about any of these loot rooms. So make sure that you like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more of these type of videos uh, later on in the future. But let's get straight into it. All right, so in this loot room design, there is a good couple of key features to keep in mind. So, to make this uh, possible, it can fit six large boxes, three small boxes, and two large furnaces, which I don't have, I do apologize. But you can fit these in each corner in this place and this place right here. To make this loot room possible, you need two triangle foundations. And the way you place these is all these back walls behind here are half walls. So, place three half walls up and a foundation, and you should be good to go. So, place a half wall here, here, and here also at the front and then from there and only at the back of the uh, loot room you place half walls going up and then on the sides you can easily place just normal walls or half walls it's fully up to you but I place normal walls just because it saves more resources also put a roof on it and then a uh, double door frame and you can put a garage door there that's it, as easy as that easy peasy uh, and that's really it for this loot room. There's not much more to say, uh, but it does optimize a lot of space and you can get a good few of these. But the only thing is your uh, foundation will be one half or higher, which is a bit annoying, but this definitely does optimize the space in your base if you are willing to spend the extra resources to have it there. That's really it for this base design. Let's head over to the second base design on this list. This base design is purely for defense. This base design is insane for people. If they blow in, you gotta blow through another wall to even get to your loot. So instead of a door, you have walls. And how this base design works is you have a lower wall right here, and then you have a half wall above. The way you get this both is you put a half wall here and a half wall above, and then you break the, the half wall below and place a smaller wall. As you can see, you can look inside and you can actually access both loot boxes on either side. But if when, the, when they break the loot boxes, and if you put pin codes on these, then it's going to be impossible for people to loot without blowing up these walls here. So make sure that everyone in your team has access to these boxes by putting the pin code in before you cover up the entrances to here, else then forever they will not be able to open uh, the boxes without you destroying the wall. But basically, this base design is super... Su oh, not base design. I always say base design. I do apologise. This uh, loot room design is one of the best uh, outgoing ones, in my opinion, just before, just for defense, uh, and it just optimizes so many doors. You can add half walls right at the back if you really wanted to, and crouch and get the ones at the top, uh, and to have even more space, which I should have added. I do do apologize, but you can kind of get a gist of what I'm, I'm kind of going for here. But of course, it's a good base design, uh, base design again, <laughs> I do apologize it's a good loot room design uh, that I definitely recommend you guys uh, definitely checking out let's go head over to the next kind of loot uh, room design in, on this list the final loot room on this list is definitely one to check out but also one of the most common this loot room includes a TC uh, you can get three large boxes and two smaller boxes but I'm pretty sure you can get a large box up top but I'm not too sure how to do that but this loot room is super super easy but also super super common like I said everyone really uses this for the TC because you can get a TC edged into the corner so how I build this loot room is uh, maybe the same as everyone else but I'm not too sure but basically how you build it is you get uh, two large walls at the back a foundation and then you get a large wall here and if you want to uh, you can either get two half walls here or you place a half wall here uh, and get a triangle off but it's best to place a half wall here get a triangle in but make sure to place the TC first if you place the TC after it's a pain in the ass to even uh, get the TC in after because of the snap points of the triangle 
So it's best to do it after, uh, best to do it before, sorry, uh, place in a triangle so it all lines up perfectly. The boxes are super, super in tight and it's really good for OCD people. Uh, you might be able to uh, get maybe a little something right in the back by the TC, but it's up to you to customize it however you like. But this base design is super, super good, super, super simple. And of course it has a TC in, who doesn't want, really want to try that? But thank you guys for watching. I do, uh, I do apologize for my stutter or for me not really knowing what to say. But I hope you guys enjoy the video no matter what. Uh, make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you, don't, if you haven't already. That's really it for, my, uh, for me guys and have a good one. Peace.